Bam. Shit. Shit. Uh, we did it again. We did it again. I don't again. know why. We did it again. I thought it would have learned better by now, but nope. Eight, eight times and we have it not. Still fucking up. <laughs> yeah, still fucking up. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, Blackhead's number eight. Um, yeah. Bam. It's because we can. Hey, we're doing a podcast about comics and shit. That's right. Uh, yeah, I guess it's been a little bit since the last one. It hasn't been as long as I feel like. Yeah, it, it, we only do it once a week, but it always feels like it's like two weeks. Well, because... every now and then it's two weeks. That's kind of why I was like, I had some of the can. I just yeah. uploaded both six and seven today. Nice. And I made it. I did that because I was like, fuck having it in the can. Let's just be current. Yeah. Just talk about, hey, right, that's all Wolverine is. Like, that was like two months ago, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... You know, what's the fucking point? Right. So, after it be more current, let's do this. Yeah. Because people want to ball. know. People want to feel like they're involved in what's happening in the now. Yeah. People, so. people like people like us, and they like to hear us talk. I hope so, I Jesus. Like. <laughs> I, I think it's a pretty broad statement, but I'm going to go with it. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. I it's, think so. You know, comics and shit. <laughs> yeah. It's just comics. Comics. Uh, all Comic right, so... Comics. Where the fuck have you been? Uh, I was at New York Comic Con this weekend. Yeah. Sort of. Like, sort of? <laughs> what sort of. <laughs> like, I didn't have a pass, and then my buddy Eric Friedis let me use this pass, so I went today for like an hour, mm-hmm. and it was just fucking nuts. Uh, I was like... I, I well, it's just Sunday. Sunday is the, the weekday. Yeah, it, it was the weekday, but it did not feel like it at all. It's fucking like, madness. It was, yeah, <laughs> it was still madness. There were still Naruto, like, clans. <laughs> it was getting worse. Like, go back to the anime room. <laughs> yeah, dude. The, it, it used to be separate. It's not yeah. even separate. It's like merged. It's segregation. It's meshed together now. Mm-hmm. So it's like schmanga. Schmanga. It's like or, or <laughs> schmanga or something. Like it's it's nasty now. Uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> schmanga. Schmanics. 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 Monkics. Momics. Momics. Yeah. yeah. No, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. <laughs> that's, that's terrible. I'll go with schmanga. Schmanga. Yeah, let's go with schmanga. <laughs> It was a schmanga con, <laughs> and it was retarded. Like, there's so many people. Like, I really, like, I appreciate cosplayers. <laughs> yeah. Just because, like, you know, it's something to do, and it gets people involved. It's expensive, man. It's expensive. It's very expensive hobby, and like, this is like their thing. This is like yeah, their it's book. What they do. You know, like, this is what they prepared like a year yeah. in advance <laughs> for to do. But it is so fucking annoying, mm. and it's retarded. Like, I just think it's dumb as fuck. To be a cosplayer. Cosplayer. It depends <clears throat> who you are. Sometimes it's cool, question mark. Yeah. Only at Comic Con. So. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I mean, it's nice. Yeah. It's a nice touch. It's 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 nice that people can, like, be themselves. It's helpful. I'd rather them be there than not be there. Yeah. But they need to control themselves. They need to, yeah. Like, it needs to be even. It can't, like, can't go one way or the other. Like, everything. Balance is key. Yeah. Because it's all about them now. Like, when it's, it's all about cosplayers. cosplayers. Online, like, fuck the cosplayers. Like, yeah. Cash play kind of the dirt. Can you see the cosplayers? Yeah, like, like, that's what people, I feel like, come... Like, they're not taking the pictures of, like, the comics. Creators, they're taking like, pictures some asshole. Of, yeah, they're taking pictures of this asshole dressed up as like, Naruto. Goku or some shit or Rogue. <laughs> I saw someone dressed as Goku. Really? <laughs> it blew my fucking mind because it wasn't a wig. Oh, really? Real life Goku? Real hair. Did you see Black Akuma or no? I did not see an Akuma. I did see like a Black Naruto that Black like, blew Naruto's my fucking mind. My favorite. <laughs> yeah, because you still do who's doing like the lip thing too. Like he was in yeah. full character. <laughs> Dude, he doesn't miss a beat. Yeah, he did not miss a beat. I was like, <laughs> wow. And like, but you don't see like you see that all the time. Like these people get into like character, dude. Like they're a character for see, four days. I wish they weren't a character. <laughs> like a better just like I'm just a dude. I yeah. like Naruto. Like okay, cool. It's yeah. Like want to do a pose? Do a pose. pose. You know? And take a picture. Cool. Yeah. That was the best part about when I went to uh, OtakuCon yeah. one year because I've snapped all the Street Fighter and like you got weird shit like Rival Schools cosplay. What? That's cool. Like I, that's, that's like, yeah, you find some obscure cosplay. All right. Yeah. Well, that's <clears> up to you. And uh, that's Lord, cool. Lord Raptor from Darkstalkers, the zombie guitar player guy. Oh shit! Really? Yeah, it was fucking cool. <laughs> oh, and Talbane too. It's not just the giant what? fucking the, kung the fu werewolf. Oh, uh, the oh, kung the werewolf. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, it was cool. See, I would applaud that. That shit's, yeah, cosplay is cool, or at its height, yeah. I guess at Otacon or some shit like that, because that's where it started. Yeah. There weren't some fuckers showing up to, like, <laughs> Comic-Cons in the 70s dressed as Wolverine. Yeah. I don't think. I, I wonder not. who the first person was that did that, like, just cosplay. decided, like, it's probably like fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably, like, that guy at Sailor Moon. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> oh. That oh happened. Some person lost their mind, and someone's like, oh, 
I guess that's okay. Let me I do guess it. I'm going to do it. Eventually, more attractive people started doing it. Yeah. And it became better. Over the years. I have a problem with chick door. It's all right. I don't, you, you see, like, I think it's more of like a girl thing. Like, when I see girls, like, I don't, I don't like, all right, whatever, you know, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. When you see the dudes doing it too, it's just kind of like because most comic people characters are all male fantasy shit anyway. Yeah. So like, yes, also now I can see in real life get some eye candy. Yeah. This comic con will go by much smoother. Yeah, you know, like let the chicks just do it, man. Mm-hmm. Like you don't need to dress up as Cloud. Like you, yeah. don't, you don't look what girl Cloud? No, girl Cloud is dope. Yeah. Any chick can pull it off. Like any any poison ivy, any witch blade, girl Sephiroth, Sailor Moon, Sailor girl Moon. Sephiroth. Dude, or, I saw all Sailor. All the Sailor Moon chicks, Sailor really? Scouts or whatever, they're all at Otacon. I would love it's to fucking see that. Awesome. I got a picture. <laughs> I would to- I would I would take a picture mm-hmm. with them. Mm-hmm. That's the shit. Like that's like cool. I would like uh, someone have a tuxedo mask hat yeah. or something. Tuxedo <laughs> mask. <laughs> Come on, man! Like tuxedo, man. You were gonna be tuxedo. Uh, not, yeah, not gonna lie. I still have dreams of being tuxedo mask for Halloween one year. See, that's, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> or you like, be like Shar Amaro, dude. Shar Amaro. Yeah, yeah, where's uh? Oh, I'm Gundam, yes. I'm Gundam cosplay. There, the pilots. Oh, nah. There's some. Oh, oh, you mean like, like the mech? The, no, not the mech. I'm just the pilots. Just the pilots. Yeah. Um, my girlfriend's cousin does it. She did it a couple years. She was uh, she was someone from the Principality of Xeon. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. See. I thought that it was works. Good. All right. Well, fuck cosplayers. That's yeah, enough. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Got our point across. So New York was busy. <laughs> busy. <clears throat> uh, that was cool. Last time I went, they were showing Barber's Capcom three. So. Oh no. Yes. And that was fucking cool. Like I gotta go. I gotta yes. play this shit. It was on like a big ass. screen. Yeah, it was on a big ass screen. They had like oh, a little shit. mini tournament for it. It was cool. Dude, I would have been like. It's fucking just hot. Wide open for that. Yeah, dude. You know, years to wait for that shit. Yeah. They, did, um, they took their sweet time on that. Yeah, they really did. Mm. Uh, I didn't do too much this weekend. It's true a bit. Nice. But really, the big deal was last weekend. Went to Locust Moon. Oh, yeah. Because right? it's been that long since we did a bucket. Yeah. Well, actually, no, it really has. At least, you know. It's been, yeah, it's just been we a week. We did the podcast last week, and then yeah. Locust Moon happened, and then right. next week, and now today. Because we were talking about, we were trying to tell everybody we were going to be at Locust Moon. That's last right. Week, last so, week. Yeah. fuck me. But yeah, Locust Moon was, uh, I had a good time. It was fun. Stable event, no, the fucking yeah. venue is oh, something yeah. else. Yeah, the venue I felt was like hot. I was on a sinking pirate ship or something. Yeah, and it was tilted. I, I was like, what if anybody else is feeling a little off center? Like my, right my, now? I had my spine felt a little off center. Yeah. Like, see a chiropractor after the show. Yeah, my, and my ass hurt after the pews. Like, at first when we got there, I was like, sweet dude, fucking pews. Like, we're not gonna have like eight Church chairs cars. behind the fucking table this yeah. year, you know? Like, I was like, yeah, this is gonna be dope. And I'm like, and then after like two hours, I was like, oh, my God, ass, my, my ass, ass, my ass bone hurts. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> it's hot. God damn it. For some reason, it was hot as hell. Yeah. It was hot, hotter. Hotter than July or whatever Steve Wonder song is in October. Mm-hmm. It was like 80 something degrees in this hot ass place with no fans or anything. Nothing. There are fans in the back room. Right? And a broken ass window. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it felt like a Batman set piece, like the scaffolding was yeah. in the center. There's a broken window. Like I felt like the penguin should have been hiding out there. Yeah, or the penguin <laughs> or, or like Shredder. Or something. Shredder, yeah, Shredder should have been hiding out there. Yeah. Foot Clan was in the back, but instead of Foot Clan, it was uh, it was uh, uh, what's his face? Fuck, uh, Stranko. Stranko was Stranko hiding was in the back. Yes, I did not get to see him once. I saw Stranko. It's it's cool. Tom. Yep. I heard he was wearing like a turtleneck. Yeah, he's basically he playing himself again as a character. His he's he's kind of like the Bob Dylan of comics. Like he made this nice. ridiculous backstory. And I love that guy. <laughs> Uh, he wears crazy shades and he's done all this crazy shit. Hell, it's probably all true. I believe yeah. it. From that guy. <laughs> Quick side note: um, when we were at, me and Karen went to her parents' house today, and yeah. we heard her brother talking about uh, Bob Dylan on sixty minutes. Really? <laughs> <laughs> or is it like his old, like you know, whatever? How old he is now? Like oh, 60, yeah. 70. Have you seen that interview? No, I haven't. Oh, seen it. I heard it was fucking, fucking amazing. Awesome. He's, he's like, just... so uh, why are you still doing this, Bob? Like he's been doing this forever. He's like, well, eh. Man, eh. Man. You know, uh, I made a deal with the commander in chief of the world. We're in the world we can't see. You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to see it. He it's looks it's angry as fuck. Just like he's just like slouched in the bro. chair. <laughs> he's and he's all just like, back. yeah, like he, he's like in this weird position <laughs> in the chair, and he's got like that old man face on and it looks like he hasn't shaved no, in like a while yeah, yeah. Shitty beard going. yeah he had like a really, has shitty, a really nappy ass shitty beard yeah oh it's great it's, yeah, he it's hates it it's like Hank from Biggie Bad's shitty beard bad mm-hmm. dude that, I thought that was makeup at first when I saw it I was like what's really? wrong with his beard yeah it didn't look real it looked like fucking like he rolled around in cat hair with glue on his face you know some dudes can't grow up man I guess not and he's hard as fuck you'd think yeah. like that guy would be able to like Maybe make a beard he had like so much second. testosterone 
So he grew up the hair and then the testosterone pushed it out. So he yeah. didn't work. So maybe he's he like, got low T balling. levels. He might have low T levels. He's got low T levels in his face ball. <laughs> face ball. Face ball. <laughs> face ball. <laughs> That's uh, a good thing. <laughs> Baseball. Uh, yeah, it looks good. It was fun. Yeah, the party was fun. Yeah. Uh, I had to go out and get good went to drink us for a bit. Yeah, you disappeared. You disappeared. Hey, man, I'm sorry. I wanted to make the rounds real quick. No, no, that was cool. I was like, I, 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 thought, I, thought, I thought there'd be more alcohol. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I feel like a jerk. Like, give me some more beer. No, there's, like, there's like, like vodka and shit there. Yeah, I know. But I felt like I'd be a jerk if I just kept doing laps in the whole Oh, uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I was running a marathon. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, it was good. Mm. I got yeah. fucked up. But yeah, that was a good time. I had fun. My only qualm was that um, oh, I got some good books there, and I was going to talk about them today, but um, most of the books I got were bad, and I don't have to <laughs> talk about all this shit. So, yeah, <laughs> and I, they were good. Some were good. Some were not so good. So I yeah. looked at your haul, and you really got a much better swag. So I guess I'm an idiot. I kept it low. I kept it low this year. I didn't. I didn't walk around too much, and I, I bought from people I knew. Yeah, that's probably a good way to do it. You know. I like to give a random guy a chance. Yeah, every now and then I'll, I'll give like, that random yeah, guy that like chance. You look sad. I'm like, oh, all right, I'll buy your book. Yeah, you look depressed. Like, yeah, let me try it out. Yo, <laughs> damn, I don't know if I seriously doubt they listen to this, but the guy across the like directly across from us. Yeah. Who had the nice setup? They look mad, depressed all day. Oh, I know. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm talking? I just kept looking at ours. Like, yeah, I was like, cover God, face, I like, man, bad. he looks fucking suicidal right now. <laughs> yeah, is that the guy that was um, with the forty? No, oh, no, not him. Right across <laughs> he looked pretty him. happy. He that guy was funny. awesome. That guy was cool as hell. <laughs> yeah, his artwork is just so dick related, but it's awesome. Mm-hmm. Like it's like dicks in like satanic imagery. Yeah, it was amazing. I wish I had brought his book. I'm gonna we'll talk, we'll talk <laughs> next about time. it next week. Yeah, like his work. I would love to pimp that guy's work. It is amazing. <laughs> it's like a, a prison pit, like on acid. acid yeah, like, prison pit's already on acid. Yeah, you know they're making a te- they're making a show out of that. I saw that. It blew my fucking mind. Yeah, <laughs> I can't wait for that. I can't wait for it. What's gonna, for what, who's showing it though? Like, how can they possibly um, show this shit? I think it's like a what's what's Titmouse? Maybe I think it's just gonna be streamed online. Oh. That's how they're doing it? I think so. Okay. But that looks like it's going to be fucking pretty gnar. I hope so. Yeah. Have you read any of the books? No. I really want to. Oh, I just, I, for some, I'm waiting for them Dude. to like come out in one big thing. Oh. You know? um, I don't know if that's going to happen, honestly. Maybe. Mm. Uh, I won't rule it out, but... I kind of feel like that, too. <laughs> I'm waiting for them to also finish Prison Pit. Because I'm want i waiting for them to release the next Prison Pit. Yeah. Johnny Ryan rules, by the way. Everyone should read all this shit. Yeah. I'd say the easiest way to get into this shit is read Combo Holocaust. Combo it's Holocaust. Funny as, <laughs> it's funny as fuck. Like, for example, uh, like, <laughs> Doctor Strange records a uh, rap album. It's called what? Stankum Stanktor. <laughs> <laughs> Stankum Stanktor. <laughs> That's awesome. And uh, the other ones were... <laughs> Uh, two more. Uh, Iron Man basically like gets drunk in his suit and like pisses and shits himself. <laughs> he, throws, he throws up and pisses himself inside the Iron Man suit. <laughs> oh no! And he just uh, yeah, he just goes on a bender. It's pretty funny. Yeah, disease extremist. The other ones where Sword Surfer keeps uh, like tricking or trolling Galactus and making him eat plants like made of shit, and then they're like. All right, what's this plant made of? Like this plant's made of cum, and guys just like bird. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, and then it has like a little uh, quote on the side. It's like gay lactis question <laughs> mark. <laughs> like to be continued. Gay <laughs> lactis. <laughs> it's like that's all he's doing now is uh, just prison, prison pit. That's all he's doing. He has a pretty like large collection of work here. He does. He's awesome. Johnny Ryan is the shit. He's, he's got a lot one of shit. my favorite guys. He's <laughs> his work so. Just, it's so like, dumb, but it's awesome. I can't help oh, like man. it. The, it's the only like, thing I keep coming back to with him was that is that nine eleven piece he did. Oh. Where it's, it's the twin towers. Was it the Terrasons or something? No, it's the twin towers and an airplane sixty nine. Oh, yeah, sixty nine. That's, <laughs> that's never horrible. forget. Yeah, I mean he's pretty good at doing that as being offensive yeah. as possible. So oh, like, that's fucked up. It's pretty fucked up. Uh, I didn't mean to cut you off, my bad though. No, that's fine. What was I saying though? Oh, oh yes, yeah, he's good. Um, Fuck. I forgot what I was saying now. Oh, uh, Jim, you're telling him he's got a pretty beast, beast catalog. Yes. Uh, just read Johnny Wright. He's awesome. And what else? Yeah, I guess <sighs> let's get to it then, right? Yeah, yeah. What I think I got a decent amount of comic books. Oh, what it looks like? Oh, I just... just looks smooth. Look <laughs> smooth. Look <laughs> smooth. Look smooth. Look smooth. It was good. All right. Um, hmm. You know, it's good <clears> we <throat> delayed the recording until today because over the weekend, mm-hmm. I ran to this guy at like a, a light... And he just literally, my window was open a crack to get some air in. <laughs> and he slipped in these fucking pamphlet comic books. And it's the uh, Chick Publications comic books. For those who don't know, 
those are like the Jesus Christ, the you're going to hell comics oh, that you find in bathrooms usually or like around the church. It, like just kind of everywhere. I can't believe you and got like, your hands on these. They're cool. Um, they're literally like ashtray size, I'd say. They're really well drawn and uh, the one's the sissy and the other one's back from the dead. The one story is, I guess, based on a true story. True stories of this guy who died for a little bit and then he went to hell and he's like, oh, fuck, I don't want to go back there. <laughs> And they're like, well, perhaps you should find Jesus and so on and so forth. Oh. And uh, they know it's about this trucker who says, God is a sissy. <laughs> it's like, Jesus says, fuck that. Whoever turns his cheeks is sissy. And then this other like huge fucking ripped trucker is like, yes, let's all pray. And Jesus stuff. It's really fucking weird. What the fuck? Yeah, look at this. Are they written well at least? No. <laughs> they're bad. No, but the artwork's weird. The yeah. art is really like creepily good. The artwork like, is like so stupidly good. To do it. Yeah, it looks like some EC shit. Or eerie or creepy comics, yeah. It looks like Dan Drew. Maybe like Dan <laughs> secretly like is Dan's drawing. Jesus freak, I knew it. Yeah. And Dan's like, I need some money, man. Oh, this looks dope as fuck. This but looks yeah, the so trucker well. one's really good. Dude, check out the one where the guy has good, like the depictions of hell in this one. Oh, yeah, let me see that shit. Yeah. <laughs> This Sorry, one, podcast listeners, but like, yeah, uh, I guess you could probably look this up online. I'm sure it's out there. It has to be. Yeah. Like, uh, this shit's been around for a while, but these are, I don't know. It's something. And I'm kind of glad these things exist, though. I like, it's like, well, think about this. The church is like, well, we could make, con- like, we make like a little pamphlet with words and stuff in it. Yeah. And maybe pictures. But people are going to be like, nope, throw it away. Yep. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, it's a comic. Let me read pictures. <laughs> <laughs> words, balloons, I could do this. And then they start reading it. So, comic books are more likely to catch your attention than a yep. random pamphlet. Am I right? Yup. So. I've always said that they should have made our, our textbooks if the, in if school. If the Bible was in <laughs> the <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> comic books, I would have gotten like straight A's. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. Okay, so this was done in 1982. Mm. We should fucking... It's been around for a while. Dude. We should scan, like, at least, like, the cover it or something. Like, these look awesome. They're pretty cool. Chick Publications. Chick Publications. Ontario, California? What? What? Ontario? That's weird. Oh. Well, anyway, yeah, I got those, <laughs> and that's that's what I read. That's all right. I read this week. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Now, I guess I'll segue into another god, the god of thunder. Yeah. A.K.A. Tour. Tour. Hey, when is the, the new movie's coming out pretty soon, right? Yeah, it is. November? I, I, it better not suck. I hope it does. This movie is like Danger Zone because this is about... Com- we're about reaching the point of superhero exhaustion where we're like, man, I don't yeah. want to fucking see superhero shit anymore. Yeah. I'm done with this. Especially since S.H.I.E.L.D. I, it kind of sucks. Yeah, it does. kind of sucks. It sucks. Is it? Does the cast just suck or what's wrong with it? It's, it's just fucking cheap. superheroes. It's cheap. It's just like it's a... Fuck. It's like Marvel... <laughs> Bought a show. It bought that yeah. that stupid detective show that only lasts like a season. Well, like the Fringe or something. <laughs> yeah, like the Fringe or like, like NCIS, yeah. like fifteen thousand or whatever. <laughs> they slap Marvel across it. Long like, order with superheroes. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it would have been cooler. Like She Hulk could have been the lawyer. And, that's uh, what I'm fucking saying. Like, get away with that. Yeah, <laughs> they should have did that. Like they just do they, Alan McBeal with She Hulk. Yes, and then have random guys have like fucking Power Man show up or something. Yeah, Anybody. pay alimony or something. You know, anyway. Yeah. Like, they, they, they could have made that... If they made the team all superheroes, like, you know, like some low-level B-movie The fucking S.H.I.E.L.D. book. Like, it's where's Dumb Dumb Dude. Get somebody in there. Yeah. Get some comic book connection. There's <laughs> nothing in there. Like It could very well not be a comic book. Anything Marvel. It's barely... Like, how is it Marvel besides S.H.I.E.L.D.? It's, the only way it's Marvel is because it got that fucking guy. And apparently they had Sam Jackson in, like, the second episode. I didn't oh, watch I, it. I read for the third one. Apparently... The guy who will become Graviton from the Avengers villain shows up, so they'll actually Graviton? have a super villain. Yes. And I think the first episode's extremists, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's like leftover extremists mixed and with like some other bullshit. It's just, yeah, it's just jerking off like it's just cheating. That's like that's cheating. <laughs> yeah, it's like I when we saw that, we were both like Oh shit! They're finally gonna use Luke Cage. Yeah, like great. Why not? Like just it's fucking cheap. put Luke Cage in the damn movie. Yeah, like <laughs> he has bulletproof screen easy. Like, yeah, you don't have to do fucking any special effects <laughs> for that. And then it's just some guy. Like it's you just think, some dude. You think he might be become part of the cast or anything? Mm-hmm. That's it. Nothing. He's just this shitty episode about like, and he's like, "This is an origin." All right, I'm not gonna. Go. My bad. No, no, that's enough. Shit. Anyway, Thor. Well, God. I'm gonna keep this short. Remember, last time I talked about Thor, I was not too happy with it. Yeah. And I'm still not happy with it. I was like, all right, maybe one more. And this one does look better than the last one, mm-hmm. but still fucking lazy as hell. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there's uh, no backgrounds or something. There's no back. Like, it's fucking Guardian. I like Guardian. This is what kills me. I like Guardian, but it's so goddamn lazy. Like, it's just, uh, I know he can do better. Like, there's more, 
like could just have more detail. It feels like this is like just preliminary sketch and they're like, all right, just Photoshop it real quick. We need this out the door. <laughs> is he doing like 500 books now? Then I can understand, but... This so this kind of soured my opinion of God of Thunder. I'm going to stick on board and hopefully things will change after this arc. Yeah. But like this is supposed to be the arc that ties in the movie. Like the villain in this is the same villain in the movie for Thor 2. So that's I'm like, why is this not like top tier shit? Like is it, you can't possibly well? sell this. What is it written well at least? Yeah, it's fun to read and <laughs> written well, but like the art is really hurting my opinion of this book. So wow. I feel like I can't judge this as I should. Like normally I read like, all right, that was a good meal after, you know, mm-hmm. reading Thor normally with God. Oh, God bomb Mark like, hmm, that was a good meal. Those first and two then I jumped to the uh, mm. jump to the uh, letter pages because that's how good. That's how you know you really like comic books. Like, I'm, I will still want more. I'll read yeah. the letter pages. But this is just like, eh, I'm done with it. Like, <laughs> okay, like no one read this shit. Like, yeah. So I, it's still good. It's still good. But the art is killing me in this book. It's literally killing me. Oh, man. That's such a Like, what? Okay. This, like, yeah. we're looking at page Thor, there's like, there's... you're a Comic Con advertisement, it's like fully fleshed out. Like, yeah. Wolverine's got a fucking weird outfit, and like, everybody in the, on the world is on his cover. Yeah. Drawn nicely, inked, yep. for God's sake. Just put some fucking ink on it. Yeah. What the hell is wrong with that? <laughs> if you, it looks like they're trying to stick with that painterly look, like, that what's his name is doing. Yeah, you know what? That, that might be it. That guy. might be it. I, uh, now, that, now it makes more sense that you said that. Yeah. Like, but the guy's not good, that, he's not good at that style. Like, it's not a style. Yeah, like, like I mean, he did the same thing where it's just pencils and then, you know, ink, you know, or not ink, uh, Photoshop, he painted or painterly type style. Yeah. But that's not Garney. Like, Garney is just, you know, Garney is himself. Like, he can't, I'm not saying he can't do that. It just doesn't fit as well. Yeah. Like, the cover is, like, almost tricked me for a second. Mm-hmm. It's like, that's cool. Yeah, you look at the cover and you're like, oh, the door's shit. right. Two Snatcher or whatever. Snatcher. Two Snatcher. Two Snatcher. <laughs> snatcher. <laughs> so you had a bad dream about someone snatcher your tooth. Yep. I did. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know, next uh, next block has, if I have to talk about Thor God of Thunder again, unless something really particular happens, I'm probably not going to talk about it until the story's over. Oh, man. I know. That's a bummer, right? That is some fucking bummer because this book was great. Uh, I'm still not rolling it out yet. It's just not worth talking about anymore. Yeah. As much as I hate to say that. <clears throat> you know what? I don't mean to interject. No, nah, go for it. But, like, you, I never know. Like, I thought you were just kind of, like... I thought you were like maybe exaggerating that it's like pencils and then it's, it's just straight over. Photoshop. Yeah, it really is. It literally is. <laughs> it literally is pencils scanned in and then photoshopped over it. And it's not even like really in depth Photoshop. Yeah. It's like maybe like they got the interns like, all right, dudes, do the shit really quick. Oh, like, God damn. <clears throat> yeah, I can see why you're bummed. Wow. All right. Give me strength, Odin. Good lord. Actually, yeah. Well, I found strength. I found a better Thor book this week. It was Infinity number four. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, uh, I'm still weirded out for this book because I don't really understand the plot. I feel like I have to read the other Avengers books that Hickman's writing to fully comprehend what the fuck's going on. I still don't understand who the fuck the builders are, which seem pretty essential to this plot, or why, <laughs> why Thanos is alive again. Who the fuck are all these guys hanging out with Thanos? There's a bunch of shit. That seems important to the plot. I don't understand why the fuck it's there. Oh, Actually, most of the stuff I don't understand why it's there. <laughs> so, but it's okay. It's fun to read, so I don't really care. Nice. And I understand enough about Marvel shit to like get it. And uh, yeah, Thor is fucking awesome in this book. Um, basically, Thor has like a negotiation meeting with like the main alien bad guy in this. Like on your knees, blah. He throws the hammer away. Yeah. And, you know, fucking school shit happens I want to spoil it and then of course Thor murks him later because he's not going to fucking deal with nobody fuck that yeah fuck that <laughs> that's awesome um, and then Thanos spoilers like finds his or like his son oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> start from the beginning alright so it's spoilers about um, Black Bolt or is confronted by Thanos and basically blows up the Inhuman city above New York which sets off a bomb which sets off Terra Genesis do you know anything about the Inhumans what no okay basically I'm just so like it basically confused. like mutates it basically mutates you or, like, makes you a mutant, quote-unquote, or, like, an inhuman that's, like, inside of you is, like, inhuman power. And, like, it will never manifest unless you get exposed to the terrogenesis mist or whatever. Okay. It's kind of like the X-Men meet Fantastic Four halfway point. The inhumans are cool, but, like, they don't... They get play, like, they're kind of on and off on how important they are in the Marvel Universe. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, Thanos' son is hiding out the inhumans. Thanos comes to, you know, Black Bolt's like, yo, hey, my son, I'm coming to kill him. Because <laughs> that's what Thanos does. You know, he wants to kill all his offspring, so. Really? I don't really know why. It's maybe just Thanos likes to death and stuff, so. Interesting. And then Who he gets. fucking? 
Death? I don't know. <laughs> I don't death? know. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh. I don't really know, dude. See, that's what I'm saying. There's a bunch of stuff I don't have answers for. Yeah. So anyway, I noticed that Blackwell had this awesome-ass fight in this book. At least this book delivers on the goods. And it looks pretty. It's real yeah. pretty. And I'm like this time, normally I'm like, oh, God, they're blowing up New York again. But this time I don't really care because I just say, fuck it, and just completely nuke New York. <laughs> really? Yeah, that doesn't look, does that look Jesus good for New York? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking inhuman city just collapsed on half of New York and <gasps> shit blew it up. Uh, Terra Genesis, they have a cool fight. Black Ball doesn't really get to go off too much in the Marvel Universe, so. Oh, does that's he get cool. killed? I don't know. I don't know. It looked like, doesn't look so good for Black Ball. It doesn't look good for Thanos, too. Thanos, like, Thanos got fucked up. Yeah. Black Ball just screamed in his damn face. <laughs> okay, so that's Black Ball's power. He yeah. just, like, screams or whatever? Yeah, yeah. It's like Banshee on crack. Okay. Um, I've always wondered what his power is because it's super yeah, so yeah, dope. Was, yeah, also, the Inhumans, or at least specifically Black Bolt, has one of the best outfit designs yeah. in the game. Yep. And they really haven't changed it since the 60s. He still has don't need to. the wing thing for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why he has wings. <laughs> <laughs> he has it. And he's got that cool tuning fork. Yep. Black Bolt is a genius <clears throat> costume. Kirby. And they made Thanos outfit all modern stuff, but they didn't go overboard like Dark Side, so I'm okay with it. It's got the same basic design. It looks good. Looks good, yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Thanos is cool in this. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> it's Thanos. Look at that shit. That's cool. Yeah, dude. I need to read this. Yeah, this book's awesome. It's much better than AVX. AVX is a big turd compared to this book. <laughs> um, yep, Thor does stuff. Uh, let me see. Yeah, no, it's, I don't know. It's cool. It's very epic scale and it's a smart crossover, I guess. It's weird. It's totally a Hickman book. So how is this but, like, uh, like the summer event? Like, what it's like the summer event. event. Oh, Ooh, it's shit. a summer event, but it's not... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Basically, you have to have a huge amount of Marvel knowledge to follow this book. At all. I don't know, like even a little bit of the like the general workings of the Marvel universe. You could be completely fucking lost, but it's still a fun book, so I recommend it. Damn, that's infinity, everybody. Ooh. This shit looks dopish. All right, I'm, I'm bad. <laughs> I bad. People are interrupting this. Nah, shit cool. so awesome. Yeah, right. Uh, they change the artists like every issue, or like an artist here and there for different parts of the story. But how they break it up is cool, so you know I don't mind it as long as it looks good and they break it up in a way to where it's not jarring. So, yeah. good job, Marvel. You guys yeah. did it. Uh, then, for my birthday present, I got this from Dan. Oh, Creepy shit. Comics presents Steve Ditko, which I've been wanting for a while because it's literally his best work. He basically does like um, his normal style with ink wash. It looks fucking badass. I'll let you look at it because I already know what happened. Holy shit! Well, yeah, yeah, browse it. But um, yeah, it's um. I don't know, it's just a collection of short stories. You know, it's like your average horror or creepy comic, but it's by Steve Dicko, who's the fucking man. And I feel like he gets uh, slept on a lot in the grand scheme of things. Like, Word. man, he made the first 30-something issues of Spider-Man. He, <laughs> <laughs> he made Spider-Man Spider-Man, basically. Because you know? Stanley was just ghostwriting that shit, and Steve Dicko and Kirby were really writing the books. Like, <laughs> Stanley just like, boy, what a wild thing web You're like, yeah, it'll be a litter of bullshit. <laughs> so, uh... Oh, oh man, man. <laughs> Stanley. Yeah, I, that's another episode. But um, yeah, yeah, no, uh, I highly recommend it. It's pretty cheap. How much is it there? Like twenty uh, bucks. Yeah, yeah. And it's put up by Dark Horse. It's Go a hardcover. Yeah, it's a hardcover. It's twenty bucks. It's lots. Of, I don't know. It's a lot of bang for your buck. Yeah, you get fucked on a page for twenty bucks. Yeah, man. I haven't even finished reading it yet, all the way. Even Dude. though I've read a majority of that stuff, but it's nice to actually have it in like. Completed book form. Jesus Christ, these ink washes are incredible. Yeah, right. Like a lot of it looks like like he's just like not even like penciling or anything. Like yeah, that. I mean it really fleshes out his work. I can see why some people are like, man, fuck his shit. But that's just because it's for a colored book and you're looking at his pencils now. Yeah. But like with it, a wash, it really puts a whole new perspective on like how good his like rational form is. Like yeah, he's really fucking good. I think like Ditko ain't no joke. Yeah, for real. And he's still making comic books. <laughs> still making comic books above his apartment somewhere in New York. He's like 80-something years old. Jeez. Still producing Mr. A comics, which I need to talk about sometime. Yeah. Because Mr. A's the shit. Actually, I was Mr. A for Halloween one year. I don't know if you remember that. Really? Yeah, that was my best costume ever. No, I never <laughs> saw that. Dude, it was fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I got what? wasted. <laughs> <laughs> Dressed as Mr. A. Yeah, That's, that's fucking, fucking awesome. I didn't take the mask off. I was going to go fucking insane. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I wish I was there for that. Duh. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Everyone go read it. Steve Dicko Creepy Comics uh, collection. Yeah, this is It's sweet. good. Um, this is nice. Everyone should read Steve Dicko stuff, honestly. Um, you know, I know we're talking about comics that you should read on weed. Yeah. It's Doctor Strange. Read the Doctor Strange shit on weed. 
You'll thank me later. Is it is it washed like this too? Hmm? Is it is it no? It's washed? just a regular Marvel comic. Okay. You know he's making like three different Marvel books. <laughs> at the time. Jesus Christ. He didn't have time to go all fancy and shit. Yeah, those guys were fucking... A workhorse. Like, yeah, fucking workhorse. Jack Kirby's like pooping out comic books left and right. Like, uh, he didn't have time for any bullshit. He just did it. He's like, you don't have time for nothing. I got to fucking work. Fucking work. Don't talk to me. <laughs> all right. And... Oh, I had a quick note. It's not with me, but I got the new Multiple Warheads. It's kind of a collection of his past couple I was old ones. That up. It's Downfall. Good. It's good. Even though one clearly in the middle, like the first Multiple Warheads one, still is very much like Brandon Graham coming. Either it was a porn comic or it's him just starting to do real comics after he did porn comics. Mm. I mean, real comics, quote unquote. Like, you know, yeah. they're all real comic books, but... Not sex this one's <laughs> What's up? No sex really? Yeah. No, I mean, the one other earlier story in Multiple Warheads does have sex in it, and that's mm-hmm. fine, but this is, like, more graphic sex. Like, the main point of this one storyline that you can tell is an older Graham, just by, even just by his drawing style and the way the panels are arranged. I didn't realize how far he's come. He's really fucking good now. Like, he's really, really good. I gotta check this out. Um, basically, like, she smuggles Sexka, the, you know, one character in this, smuggles, uh, like, an organ up her butthole. Like, so the opening scene is her shoving something up her ass. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And it's full on, you know, trying to ask butthole shots and like everything. Shoves it up there. <laughs> she has to smuggle it through a gate and then gives it to her like werewolf boyfriend. And then she sews on like it's actually a werewolf dick that she <laughs> she shoves a werewolf dick up her ass. <laughs> yeah, but it's in a capsule. So oh, okay. Yeah, it's not that bad. I thought it was just floating. It's still there. pretty bad. No. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I gotta check this out. Yeah, I think you love it, actually. This is, like, right up my alley. <laughs> so then she gets... It's a birthday present for her boyfriend who's a werewolf called uh, Nick. Yeah. And it's uh, it's a werewolf dick, so she shows, shows on the werewolf dick right above his human dick. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's like some crazy fucking porn comic at that point. And then they have to have a sex scene where she's basically fucking with both dicks at the same time. Yeah. With his one guy. Himself, but... That's awesome. <laughs> where is this? It's out in the living room. I almost picked that up the other day. <laughs> I should have got, got it. Damn it. <laughs> but yeah, that was a really good book. Uh, B. Graham. We want to have the Always books. puts out good material. Oh, yeah. Also, I don't know what it makes seem like the whole book's just about that, but that was definitely the best best part of the book. <laughs> as much as I hate to say it. We're going to the brow. <laughs> Actually, no, there's a lot of other good stuff in the book. I mean, you know, it's just what you come to expect from B. Graham. It's yeah. like, that was something I really hadn't seen from him before. I knew it existed, but I've never actually read any of his, like, Yeah, I've never seen stuff, any so. of his porn stuff. But it's out there. Too. But, um, yeah, no, it's good. It's good stuff. Nice. Very better than Lost Girls. Yeah? Yeah. Lost I, Girls I never read Lost like Girls. Shit. No, I never read I always just thumbed through it. Like, I was like, oh, cool. Even that scene. <laughs> Righteous. <laughs> but, yeah, everybody, go read Multiple Warheads. Downfall, and all the Brandon Graham shit, Profit, all Graham other Multiple Graham. Warheads shit, King City, all that crap. Yeah. He's apparently doing another new series for Image after Profit. Excellent. Yeah. Is he writing it or something else? Uh, I think he might be writing it and drawing it or something like that. Okay. Uh, apparently, also, Dave Taylor is going to be doing an issue of Profit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Can finally. you imagine... Is what that the, the last fuck? issue? <laughs> yeah, it has to be. It has to be like the last issue. You know how fucking crazy that's going to look? That's pretty crazy. The Holy fact that they even got Dave Schiller to do this shit. Yeah. And it's got some pull now. Yeah. Yeah. So it was good shit. Yeah. All right, it's my turn. Come back. It's almost your turn. Let's oh, talk oh, about this. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> shit. You going to do it? Do it. Oh, I was just going to say, Roll oh, Moon. Yeah. I finally got my copy of Roll Moon at Lokes Moon. It was quite good. Thanks. Um, actually, it reminds me of Walt Warheads a little bit. Yeah. So it's not what I think about it. Yeah. It's kind of like Downfall. So if you want a comparison, go read that shit. So Fuck yeah. It's good. I, I don't actually want to really say anything because I want people to read the book. Yeah. But it's good. You have my word on it. Um, and I hope there's more. I want to see more Roll Moon. Man. Yeah. I'm, I'm kicking now, what, what, like, what are your plans for future issues on Roll Moon? Like, um, future like, issues? Is it still going to be like um, various stories kind of chunked up or are you going to have mm-hmm. kind of intersect in a way or... Um, I want to have one intersecting storyline with, like, you know, the little vignettes, kind of trying to keep it in, like, that one-man anthology kind of format. Okay. But maybe have it be... Is it all in the same world? Yeah. Still, and everything? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Or universe. Like, <laughs> in the same weird little, like, sci-fi universe trying to build. That's cool. You said it looks like, more, it's like multiple worlds. Mm-hmm. After reading, it must be a lot of multiple warheads actually. Just really, like yours is out in the desert and his is in Russia or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. reminds me of it. It definitely reminds me of fuck ton of it actually. Nice. 
That's all. I only I've only so read that first one. issue, man. Like of what warheads? Warheads. Like I have the other three, but I just haven't read them yet. Like, mm. Like every 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 now and then I'll I'll open them to like look at like the color palettes and stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, this awesome. one's all this this one's all black and white. There's gray tones, you know. Oh the uh, newest one. The newest one. It's actually just collecting them all. It's like three old multiple red stories in one nice. one big book. I want to check that out. It's only like eight up. bucks too, right? Yeah, it's cheap. Yeah, it's like match feed. I ended up instead when I went there to go, I was gonna get that. I ended up buying Shallon Cowboy. Segway, yeah, that was really yeah, good. Like, segue, right? I almost didn't notice it was segue. <laughs> that's like a shit. Um, so I got the new Shallon Cowboy mm-hmm. by uh, Jeff Darrow and Dave Stewart, and uh, you know, you know, waiting like you know, like ten years. How long was it between uh, issues? God, please tell me. Like, I, I honestly think it. It's been years. It's been years. It's, that much I do know. It. I. Oh, I wish I had brought one of the issues with me. The, the you have some of the older ones. I have them all. Oh, I got all of them. There's seven. Nine, seven. There's seven of the original series, and then um, there's a couple he did. It was originally called Bourbon Threat, mm-hmm. and it was like serialized in uh, heavy metal mm. back in the day. So there's a couple of those, um, but that main series that I guess continues in this book. There's only seven, and it was put out by the Wachowski Brothers Company. Right. Um, what's it called? Big, not Big Boy. What the fuck's it called? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Burly Man. Burly Man, yes. Burly Man right. Entertainment. Yeah, yeah. That so, shit was cool. That shit was dope. I think they just folded. Or of probably course. was just like, this isn't making us as much money. <laughs> Fuck this. We ain't making shit for money. Yeah, like, this is retarded. Why would we do this? <laughs> but, uh, they need to pay for a sex operation or whatever. Yeah. Oh, God, <laughs> I can't believe they did that. That's just the one. Yeah, just, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's only one that did that. Yeah, so like Kowski Bro, it's just okay. a, now what are they gonna call them next time they make the yeah, Matrix, like the when they make the Matrix Four? What are they gonna do? Yeah, like because the Wachowski, Wachowski siblings, Brothers like sound it, it just rolls off. It roll, yeah, it rolls off the tongue. Now it's yeah. like Wachowski Brother it's just bro and, si- bro and sis or Wachowski siblings. Wachowski, yeah, like it, there's nothing that's. The fight's called the Wachowskis now. Yeah, Wachowskis. yeah, you can do the Wachowskis. Wachowskis. Yeah. That, that rolls too. That's just a nice last name. But um, this one, it it takes place, I guess, like right after. If any of you followed the story of uh, he was in a he was trapped in a uh, dinosaur with a city on its back. He was trapped in the stomach, mm. fighting this zombie, and the zombie had like a bunch of zombie kids, <laughs> and like he was it ended with like. All these zombies like coming at that uh, the shell and cowboy. Yeah. So now it ends with now it starts with him like I guess like breaking to the surface somehow, and there's all these zombies chasing him, and he sin- he ends up saving like a bunch of douchebags in a car. Um, they just kind of happen across him. Yeah, they like throw like a can at him and like say tell him to, like stick your dick in this, <laughs> and they call him gay. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> yeah, they're like, hey, you're gay. Awesome. Stick your dick in this can. <laughs> it's retarded. That's pretty good writing. Yeah. It's just there are horrible writing, but, you know, his drawings... Are no, no, it's real. It's too real writing. Yeah. Um, so, you know... How long does it take to these fucking panels? Good guys. Yeah, dude, like... I wonder what size of paper he works on for this he, shit. He works on, like... I've seen some of his originals, and I thought he was Maybe doing Paul Pope size. Yeah. What's like, Paul Pope size? It's, you know, like the 18 by 24. Oh, jeez, that's fucking huge. <laughs> yeah, so, like... I thought he was doing that size, but it's, like, a little bit bigger than, like, 11 by 17. I think he might be working on, like, 12 by 18, maybe. Huh, alright. Yeah, it's weird. Like, you you would think they'd be big. You'd think the page would be that'd fucking, be fucking huge. humongous, like... Yeah. They're, they're uh, pretty big tiny. guy and robot or whatever. Yeah. Rusty and... Rusty and... Rusty and uh, big, big guy. guy. Yeah, yeah. That was a good one. Freaking Did they that. make a show about yeah, that? Yeah, they made, like, a couple seasons. Last couple weird. seasons on Nickelodeon. It's Nickelodeon, of all places. Yeah. That's why, that's why that guy. That's why Jeff Darrow probably takes so many breaks because I'm sure that show is still on, like you think somewhere. So? Somewhere, I'm sure it's, some shit is happening. But yeah, you know how like there's like a boom for Cartoon Network, like or Boomerang. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there's like a Nickelodeon that plays like old episodes of like yeah, that shit. Yeah, yeah. No, they're busy playing like Salute Your Shorts and shit. Yeah, <laughs> or like the get, good get the picture. <laughs> yeah, or my brother and me. Do you remember what? that show? No. <laughs> remember that show? I, I kind of remember. What's it uh, about? The black kids, the, you know, inner city black. Was it like nineties, like 
uh, family manners type shit. Like, yeah. Or like, you know, there's like, always something the they had to, like, um, overcome yeah. you know, in each episode, like a moral. Fuck. Jesus Fuck Christ, Christ, we got on topic. <laughs> anyway. Uh, the, how does it rank on the fucking okay, inner city <laughs> flight it, On the inner city scale. side, it's, it's not that great. What was the spinoff of the Cosby show where it's, like, different oh. worlds? Different worlds, but it was with the son, right? No, it was with the chick, I thought. The chick? Yeah, the, she went to college. Who went to porn, though, right? I, maybe. I don't remember. There's a lot of Cosby shows. Yeah, there's a lot of Cosby kids. But one of those episodes, Tupac was a gangster. Like, in every film we showed up. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Tupac's like, yo, man, fuck school. Let's <laughs> rob bank. <laughs> hey, Tupac, why don't you come in for this audition? We're going to have you playing a gangster? <laughs> it's like, sweet. <laughs> Dope, dog. I can do that. I can do that, like, man, easy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck you, fuck. Let's go watch it both right after this. No. Let's <laughs> watch that one where he's like a cop, though. What's the one where he's a cop? What? I don't remember that one. I was going to say, let's watch uh, The Juice. The Juice? The, or Juice, sorry, Juice. Not The Juice, just Juice. I've never seen Juice. Juice is fucking awesome. It's his best movie by far. Juice is Basically, good. Tupac just goes, like, a bank heist goes wrong or something. No, a robbery goes wrong. And then, like, Tupac starts going fucking crazy and starting to kill all his friends with them. It's awesome. What? Tupac goes nuts and starts killing everyone. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and it's like, what's wrong with you, man? It's like, now you got the juice. Then you got the you juice. You the juice? <laughs> yeah, when you go fucking crazy or something. Oh, I don't know. my God. I'm maybe, I'm not, maybe I'm not uh, qualified to speak on this. But God. <laughs> In the 90s, I was just, like, playing my Ninja Turtles. Like, I, I was just so oblivious to all this awesome, like, shit Bullshit. that was going on. There's still time, man. Go watch the juice. How come Biggie didn't, like, act? The like, viewers so he was eating, selling drugs on the side. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't know. About that. Just being fat. He was probably just fucking like little Timmy and shit. I don't know type of this shit. What's that one Biggie song? <laughs> There's a Biggie song where he's, he's like, like fucking some chick, and it's like sounds man, horrible. Yeah, it was like it uh, sounds horrifying. Like, I skip this yeah, shit, I skipped that track. <laughs> Every time I, I have a playlist and I deleted that, you song. deleted it. Yeah, I can't <laughs> don't even want to bother. I can't. I can't take rap. Like Big Pun does it too. Big Pun. I don't know. Big Pun. You can't even fucking yeah. like Dude, his day and There's a Big Pun thing where like he's fucking two chicks and like they start fighting over it. I don't and then like, like it's fat fuck. Oh uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's so like awkward. Five hundred pounds. He's better than Yokozuna. Yeah, it, it, it's so awkward. Like, well, I don't want to listen to that. Like, I can't I really listen don't. to you fucking. <laughs> Why is it always the like fat guys? Yeah, it? it's always like nasty dudes. Like, it's not like Tupac. And, I don't know. Like the game did, but I <laughs> yeah, like they, there's no like Kanye we West no song where he's that. like, oh yeah, Kim, <laughs> yeah, and she's like, Next yeah, album, Kanye. Kanye has like a fucking. Old timey like yeah. phone. It's like oh shit, that's a great idea. Yeah. It's like you just like, made the next album. Thanks. He's like yes, <laughs> yes, I am a god. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, that was a good, uh, good uh, deviation from yeah, the plot yeah. there. Huh? Well, that's <laughs> Shadow <Tell the> Cowboy. <laughs> yeah. So in a nutshell, Shadow <laughs> Cowboy is everything that we loved in the nineties, <laughs> and lots of Tupac. Yeah. No, there's none of that. In there. <laughs> um, it's just a continuation of like him fighting an asshole of zombies, except for it's drawn in a weirder Jeff Darrow style. Like Jeff Darrow's yeah. kind of like it's. Would you say lazy? It looks weird. It's just like, yeah, like it didn't look like the old Shaolin Cowboy shit. It yeah, looked, uh, the old Shaolin Cowboys are a lot more detailed. Are they? <laughs> yeah, like a lot more line or like the lines are a lot cleaner and like. Yeah, I don't know. This looks like a bit like. Messier. Yeah, it looks messy. I, mean, messier. I think it's the color. Coloring actually is kind of fucking with Yeah, it. I didn't like Dave Stewart's coloring on this. Yeah, it's like the only so thing I've actually. seen that I don't like about like I Dave didn't Stewart. Like it. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know who was coloring it before, but they had like these awesome colorists doing like great jobs on the uh, old Shaolin Cowboys. But the new one's too light. Like, yeah, there's not enough contrast between what's going on. Yeah, it's like some shits happening. Yeah, they're they're really light on the show. Shadow Cowboy could fuck up all these zombies, by the way. I don't know why he's running away. Yeah, he's trying to get the fuck out. He's just fighting like a bunch. He's in the stomach, man. But I'd say go buy it because it's supposed to come back out on a monthly schedule. And Jeff Jeff Darrow draws like really awesome action sequences. And you know, there's not too much of that one in this. It's kind of like an intro, Mm -hmm. you know, getting people, I guess, back to being familiar with Shadow Cowboy. So it's cool. I dug it, you know, it, you can read it there's literally like no like four minutes. There's like no dialogue Yeah, there's none. There's like... Almost none, except for the dudes in the car. And I actually like that, because that's the cool. other one, the that's, other challenge... That's really what I wanted to do with comics, just have a comic. 
that, with almost no dialogue. Yeah, like because, <laughs> because of the I older ones, like, like there's no, there's tons of dialogue. There's almost right. too much dialogue hmm. in the older ones, and it's all really bad dialogue. So in like this one, I like there's like tons of like silent sequences. And I was like, yeah, I dig this. I mean, I'm gonna read it in like two minutes. Yeah, but like at least I don't have to sit through really shitty. Def bad dialogue. dialogue, yeah. Yeah, like bad dialogue. <laughs> But so go buy it. It's three ninety nine. It's cool. What is deal? It's Jeff Dara. Yeah. You know? Dark Horse. When he comes out with something every like ten decades, <laughs> it, it's usually pretty good. Thousands of years. Thousands and thousands. This motherfucker. Jesus. All right. Now I'm gonna go on my Locust Moon pile. Yeah. Um, I got Estar Seed. Estar by, Seed. Yeah. I think that's how you said it. Or is it just Star Seed? <laughs> is it Star Seed? Well, no, it's about, it's about my boy Jamie. It looks like Starseed. Yeah, I think it might be Starseed, but the main character's name is Esther. Oh? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's like this rabbit to. chick. I actually haven't got a chance to read this yet, but it's my boy Jamie from uh, Kaiju Press. Mm, right. He's awesome. He has like a very cool, like unique way of inking. He's kind of in our same field. He does like some, some crazy, he just goes nuts with like his brush. I really dig it. Um, I think if you go, I'm trying to think what his website is. I think it's Kaiju Stay Press. No, I didn't say shit sure. on this book. I didn't even say his fucking name. What the fuck, man? <laughs> James, Jamie, you guys got to your website name on, dude. <laughs> Come on, man. Put your damn website link yeah, in the book. Yeah, put your fucking name on this book. All right, well, this is called Star Seed. <laughs> Good thing he's on the podcast. Yeah, for real, right? We all we'll Google it and you'll probably find his website. I yeah, hope. we gotta call him. <laughs> That's <laughs> Star Seed. It's pretty cool looking. No, S Tar Seed. S Tar. S Tar Eid. S Tar Eid. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, it looks cool though. Jamie, it looks fucking great. Like his inks. If you guys like Paul Pope or Ryan Kelly. That's who you just spent last time talking shit about. Uh, who? Nick, whatever. <laughs> Nick Nolte? Yeah, I don't know. Fuck it. <laughs> Anyway, what's this book you got here? Who the fuck is Nick? Uh, the guy who draws like Paul Poop. Oh, Nate. Nate. Nate pa- not Nate. Fox. Oh, shit. Nathan Fox, yes. Yeah. No, but this is a good break. Like, because he doesn't <laughs> draw, he doesn't ape Paul. Like, Jamie so doesn't fucking ape extreme. Paul. All right. You can just see, like, the influence. Like, Nathan okay. is just a fucking, like, raping Paul. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Poor guy. Yeah, poor guy. All right, so the next book I got here uh, is Seth Kushner's Schmuck Comics. Now, this is Seth Kushner. He's doing, like, his autobiography stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but he gets a different artist to illustrate a different story at, like, a time in his life. And so these are all true, uh, which is crazy because, like, some of the shit that happens to him is just, like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, I feel bad for you that, you, like, you had to go through that. Like, there's some great stories in here. Like, and, and he kind of, like, exaggerates, you know. Like, he gets, yeah. he goes, like, a little bonkers with it in a good way. And, like, there's, like, a sequence where, like, he's having a dream about this chick he's seeing and, like, they're, like, running through, like, the Matrix, Matrix sequence, yeah, yeah. you know, like, and it's cool. He gets great artists. Like, in this collection, you got John Allen, Seamus Bial, and uh, Noah Van Schiver. Uh, great, all great guys. They all knock it out the fucking park. Yeah. Seth's uh, script's very fucking dope. Like, it's just fucking, it's funny stuff that happens to a funny guy. And if you meet him... He's like the nicest guy ever, and you're just like, God, I can't believe all this happened to you. That's why it happened so it's yeah. too nice. Like, but he's smart because <laughs> he was like, This is happening, and I'm, he's like, This sucks right now, but this is gonna make a good story one day. <laughs> like, this is gonna be something one day. See? Yup. Make lemonade. Yup. Lemons. 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 We should have got lemonade, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Oh well, next time. Next what time. Mike's Heart Lemonade? Yeah, we should, no, oh gosh, <laughs> oh, it's so gross. Mike's Heart Lemonade fucking sucks. Yeah, there goes that uh, endorsement. By the way, oh, <laughs> out the window. Out the window. I like Mike's Heart Lemonade. I don't know this guy. Oh. <laughs> so that's uh, Seth Kushner's Schmuck Comics. Yeah. Uh, it actually, uh, the guys at Hang Dye Studios are all putting together uh, Hang Dye editions of all their books that they do. Uh, that they, I think they know. Like you can normally read Schmuck for free. On um, tripcity.com is where like a lot of guys like Dean Hosfield, Seth gotcha. Kushner, and all those guys. But now they're starting to publish it with themselves oh. through Hang Dye. Cool. So, it's cool. What else we got from Hang Dye? We got yeah. Force of Nature. Did you just buy all your shit at Hang Dye? <laughs> uh, no, they, like I went over there to buy stuff and they were just like, yo. Hey, you want all this shit? Guts, take this. And I was like, all right, sweet. Cool. I was like, well, I don't pay for anything rich. <laughs> all right. Next guy, Gregory Bitten. Gregory Benton is 
probably one of the coolest guys I've recently met in comics. Yeah. He's a fucking just nice dude. He always has this, like, smile on his face. <laughs> and he's just this fucking cool guy. And he's got a crazy cool style. Like, this is another one of those indie books, like, you get where it's like, yes, this is it. Like, this is a fucking... This is someone in the indie comic scene that is doing something shit. different. <laughs> like, you know... The, he isn't doing some fucking bullshit that looks like everybody else's. Like, yeah. this is fucking dope. Like, I like this guy's style. It's very, like, cartoony. It's, it's very, like... It's um, nice. It's different. Yeah, it's, like... It's kind of got this painted look. I think he might be painting this. No. You know, what do you think? Is it look, I have to take a closer look at it. Maybe, maybe on Photoshop? Mm. I don't know. Like, the way he colors, it's kind of like a kid's book. If anything, but, it might be gouache. Might be gouache. Or something but like it that. looks like he's doing it by stuff. hand. Actually, I don't, I don't think this is Photoshop. If he does, he's doing a hell of a job. Yeah. Actually, no, it doesn't look like Photoshop. He looks too good. Either yeah. That or Photoshop just mind fucks me. But yeah, if he's doing this on the computer, then I'm, I'm not gonna fuck with the computer ever again. Yeah. But it, his store is very cute. Uh, it's very cool. It seems like it's gonna be all ages. I haven't had a chance to really read through the whole thing yet. I started it the other day, but it's a. Yeah, it's called Force of Nature by Gregory Benton. It looks dope as shit. I, I want more people in the indie scene. And you got way better shit than I did. <laughs> yeah. I, I lucked out, man. You, you were looking at the wrong places. I guess so. No, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he knocked it out the park with this. Also coming out soon by him is a book called uh, BNF. What does it say? BNF? B plus F? Uh, where is that? Where do you see that? Right there. Yeah, B plus F. Yeah, B plus F by uh, Ad House and uh, what the fuck does that say? Ad House. And yeah, I'm just gonna say Ad House. Ad House and something I, else. I can't read this other <laughs> publisher's name. Coletta. Coletta, maybe. Yeah. Kaitla. Kaitla. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna fuck with that. Yeah, let's just fucking stick with that. Looks nice though. Huh? Yeah. It's another book he's got coming out that looks fucking dope. I, I like Gregory Benton's style. Like, you don't see too many people in the in, in the Indian comic world, or even in the comic world in general, like, approaching a style like this. No. So, it's good. Yeah. I appreciate it. Diversity. Diversity. Well, draw like everybody else, people. Stop doing that shit. Stop doing that shit. Now, this is like Dean Hospital's Psychotronic Comics. <laughs> this is dope. It's uh, it's got a couple stories of like characters that he's kind of invented over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, all very New Yorkian, all very like very poetic. Because uh, Dean's a fucking, he's like a weird poetic guy. Like he street writes, poet. yeah, yeah. He's kind of like a street poet. Like he he writes with this weird like poetic like tone in mind, but it's like it's not corny or anything. Like and it fits this fucking weird character for some odd reason. <laughs> Is it like sixties Marvel comic, but? Yeah, a little bit because he, he's very into like that. That he grew up on that kind of stuff. Yeah, and you can see his shit. work. Yeah, like he he nails it. Like it's weird because like I like how Dean will do that. Like you you know like you see like a guy you know running across buildings and he's dressed as a superhero, but he's talking poetic. Like he's not just being like, oh, you know, the crime <laughs> sleeps at night. And like <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not like he kind of throws you for a loop. Like he kind of yeah. like he kind of tricks you. So, um, there's lots of dope shit in here. Uh, there's the Tommy Rocket. I like this guy because he drives, like, this gigantic Kirby cycle yeah. looking thing. Uh, the Red Hook rules. Uh, oh, is that the Red Hook? Yeah, the Red Hook. He was cute. That was fucking shit. It's dope. <laughs> kind of like a pre... Kind of like his, like, pre-Fox before he, like, started doing the Fox. It kind of looks like the same. <laughs> like, the same, like, thing, but just yeah, like, yeah. the Fox logo slapped on it. I say, it reminds me of, like... Daredevil meets uh, Black Panther or some shit. Yeah. Definitely picking up a serious Marvel 60s vibe from a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Like, there's, That's like, a, like an Avengers, or, like, kind of like an Avengers team, maybe, like, a little Fantastic Four team he's kind of created. Yeah. Like, I haven't read through, like, like all of this stuff, but there's, like, this awesome Autobio pencil shit story. looks really cool. <laughs> yeah. Dean's autobio work fucking rules, because Dean doesn't, like, just sugarcoat it. He kind of, like, hits cracks and nails, and you're just like, oh, my God. <laughs> But this shit, works really nice too. Yeah, he's a fucking. I say this a lot, and like not just because like we're friends, but like I think he's an inking and compositional genius. Like, damn, you know, <laughs> that's yeah, pretty high praise, dude. I, I tell him it every time I see him. He's like, oh fuck you, Spuds. fuck you, man. But uh, that's Psychotronic by uh, Dean Hospital and Hangdai Studios. So check those shits out.
Is that going to be uh, his plug on the next book? <laughs> Look, <laughs> what? <laughs> the next role with Dean Hasfield is going to be like, fuck you, Scud. Yeah, what? fuck you, Scud. on the back. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. I'm it's talking about book shit. Comic booking. Well, Comic booking. Um, hmm. Are there any movies and shit out lately? Uh, I, I saw Don John. Don John. Oh, yeah. What the f- Is that any good? No. What it's the really hell is up with that movie? I was like, it's the best movie featuring the guy. No. The it porn sucks. ever. Dude, no, it sucks. sucks. The ending, it actually ends really well. Like, yeah. It's got an awesome Who is it? It's ending. fucking Robin. It's from Robin from Batman, <laughs> Julianne Moore, and fucking Scarlett Johansson. As she goes in it? Can't yeah. be that bad. Yeah. Really can't. Dude, really no. Can't. Her hair. <laughs> She plays like this crazy bitch who's like a princess, kind of like spoiled girl mm-hmm. who wants everything her way. Like and, Thor. Yeah. <laughs> just like Thor. Just like Thor. Fucking fucking Thor. Yeah. yeah I, I mean the movie. I thought I thought Don John was gonna be pretty fun. It, it starts. There's funny parts, yeah. but it's just a repetitive. Movie. Why don't you guys see Gravity instead? I wanted to. Who decided? Who decided to see Don John? Uh, we both did. We both oh, were like, okay. me, and, me and Maureen were both like, yeah, let's go watch that. I like Joseph Gordon a little bit. Fuck it. Yeah. You really gotcha. Like it? <laughs> Got me. <laughs> Fuck her. Hey, I want to see, actually see Gravity. Gravity? Yeah, it looks sorry. Cool. I don't know. It looks like a an attempt at 2001. Kind of. I want to go that far. That, that's a little crazy. <laughs> well, I got the space and, you know, Space floating. maps, maybe, the float and shit. You know? Well, Sandra actually, Bullock just fucks everything up and then they have to yeah. pick up, you know, pick That's up why they shit. don't let women in space because they do <laughs> stupid shit like that. How the fuck did one person blow up a satellite? There's a will, there's a women. way. <laughs> women. I said it. Women. Do you even trust women drivers? No, fuck no. Well. No, I'm just kidding. I, don't know. I always crack this joke when I'm driving with kids. <laughs> it's like, you know what the scariest thing in the world is? Woman in an SUV. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> yes, it's that's true. terrifying. It's really terrifying. You you like take extra notes. You're like, oh. when Maureen drives, yeah. I get like <laughs> mini <laughs> panic attacks. You're like grabbing yeah, side I, of cars I grab the things <laughs> because she's like she doesn't she's not a bad driver. She just gets road rage like really Hardcore. bad. And, like, it's not like people are driving crazy. Like, someone will get in front of her and she'll just be like, Are you fucking serious? Fuck you. <laughs> I'm like, why are you mad? She's you put his blinker on. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Like, get out of my Dude, she gets angry. She's like, beast. another level of anger when she's in the car. And, like, she doesn't like to fuck around in the car. Like, if I, like, you know, like, like you drive your girlfriend. Yeah. Like, you do a little brake tap. Like, oh, oh yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> like, she... She fucking, fucking stop. freak out on me. Like she lost him on me the other day. Usually, I just kind of go like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You do like the little like where little you spin crazy. the steering wheel yeah. back and forth. She's like, stop it. What is wrong, with you? <laughs> dude? She is not playing the car. Like driving the knees or yeah, I pump the brakes. My favorite. Yeah, pumping the brakes. If you're listening to a song that's got like a boom, 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 like, dude, she's like, she's like, you need to stop. Fuck you. It's not fucking funny. It's, it's not got the funny. entire car experience. It's just. Trying to fuck with Karen. Yeah, time. I think of things to do. I love you, Karen, but uh, yeah, no, I have to. I have yeah. to do that in the car. You have to. Well, you I was like, no, do the thing where you had to go to the gym because Karen thought she forgot her glasses there. Yeah. So of course I drove away while she went to look at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like when, you, when they when they walk up to the car, you just pull away. Just pull away. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, if it's raining outside and you get to the car first, you lock the you lock, lock the, the door. door. <laughs> you just sit out there for a second. Yeah, um, just like, or the pull away while they're trying to get the door. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite is to to be driving, right? And you're not saying anything. Like, she's on the phone. And I go, oh, my God. And like She's like, what? <laughs> I don't think I go that far. Oh, dude, I go far. I push it. You go all the way. I pull Damn. over that line. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Drove over the line. Yeah. Uh, what else is going? Oh, yeah, she's trying to get in the car. She's walking down the street, and I started pulling the car towards her. <laughs> like, <laughs> I like to cut her off or something. Oh, man. And then the other classic line I pulled. Actually, I did it, like, all in a row for this thing. <laughs> it was such a good opportunity, because I plan on being good the rest of the weekend. So, like, all right, let me get it all out right now. Yeah. And that'll be nice the rest of the whole time. And then I, um, I pulled in front of, uh, like, a sign, and then, like, on her side of the door, I'm like, all right, we'll get in. <laughs> <laughs> and I was dick. Nice. Karen, I'm sorry. That's not, oh, that's yeah. not bad at all. I didn't that's good, that. right? Yeah. yeah. Put that in her repertoire. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Now. Yeah, pull up in front of, like, a sign post. Like, like a <laughs> sign something that's in the way of your door. Like a trash can. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like. Oh, that's good. It's really good, right? I didn't think of that. That's a good one. 
<laughs> trying to think what else I've done in one. So many good car jokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, you were e bricked with her in the car. E bricked? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> the car would fall apart. Oh man. What's that one? That's when you just go around a you go around a corner, but you hit the e brick. Break instead. So he's like, <laughs> so he's sliding No, I would minutes. never do that. <laughs> oh man. Dude, I don't know if I could even do that. My car would probably like fly off its wheels. <laughs> yeah. Your car might like do a couple flips. Yeah, <laughs> that, that would should be a, be a thing I should do. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was it? Oh, well, let's see. I watched two movies. I watched Two Frame Rock and Rabbit. Again? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Does it hold up? Yeah, it holds up. It holds yeah. up. That's what I want to see. Is it still hold up? And it does. Yo, I was trying to figure out... Basically, I was trying to, like, tech find out in the, during the movie, like, how they did certain shots. Yeah. And I'd say, like, 50% of the movie, I was like, I have no fucking clue how they did any of this shit. Like, yeah, because it's all, like, anime. It's like the... It's, yeah, it's like The anime, first anime human, with human, human yeah. animation interaction. Also, it's the only crossover animated movie of all time. with like Bugs Bunny... Mickey Mouse hanging out together. Really? Donald Duck and uh, Daffy Duck playing pianos in the bar scene. Remember that? No. Really? You should watch it again. It's on Netflix. That is a mission for everybody. I think it holds up, man. It's still it's still good. Nice. It's solid. Um, but, and what's his face? Ah, uh, it's the main character. Fuck. He played Mario. Uh, in Mario Bros. movie. Oh. And Matthew, Don Quixote, he was um, Don, Don Quixote's Quixote. sidekick. What's Don Quixote's sidekick? Fuck, fuck me. I shouldn't talk about that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I, I have not seen Don Quixote in oh. a long time. It's good. To... Pancho. Um, but and I also watched Clue after that because. Oh, was Clue good? Clue's awesome. Did you should watch Clue. Really? Clue's funny. I wanted to see it. Did watch you... Clue. Yeah. Do you remember when that first came out? There was no. three different. All right. Somebody told me this. There's three different endings. There's three different endings. Yeah. So like you didn't know which one you were gonna get. Oh, they don't show all. Wait, when it got the original theatrical release, it had different endings. And like yeah, they had three different ones, and like they only played them at certain um, places. Really? Yeah, Isn't that huh. cool. That's pretty cool because, like, on the Netflix version, they show all the endings. Oh, seriously? It's like this happened, or this happened, or and here's what really happened, and then they show the actual ending. Oh, cool! It's the other movie, so it's pretty fucking cool. What? I'm gonna watch that. I, we put it in the Insta Cube to watch, so maybe we can watch that tonight. We're still trying to catch up on the wire. We watched the Yo, watch the fucck wire goddamn. Oh, God. <laughs> so I can talk to you guys about the damn wire. Alright, so the latest episode we watched. What was, was the one Star where... season two? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know it's so bad. Um uh, no, that's okay. Uh Deang- all right, so D'Angelo gets buried. Yeah, it's fucked know, up. <laughs> it's fucked up and like D'Angelo's mom. Stringer's like Stringer's like <laughs> he's like, yo man, <laughs> yeah, Stringer, that well, dude. Stringer's like I'm trying to think like he has one acting tick where he like scratches his head or something. He, he scratches his head and he does like the yeah, he like smacks his lip or something. This is that, and he's like, "Yo, man, your Baltimore nigga is a crazy dog." In the <laughs> car. But like, all right, so tell me if this is what if I'm on the right track. Yeah, go. So, for it. all right, so Stringer killed D'Angelo without Avon's approval, right? Yeah, while well, Avon's in jail. Yeah, and so, it, but he goes back to meet with them because Avon's all like, you know, heard about it because he's yeah. like, "Yo, I should see it coming. Like, maybe I should have helped him." Yeah, but it seems like Avon thinks that. Maybe he's like kind of on a stringer, possibly. Possibly. Because stringer brings up like that fat dude wants to. Oh, like, uh, give, prop Joe. Yeah, prop Joe wants to give them good product, but he wants a part of the towers. Yeah. Yeah, and, and he yeah, asks like Avon. And Avon's like, fuck him. No, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> yeah. No. A stringer Bell's trying to be legit, and uh, fucking Avon basically wants to go and guns blazing and shit. Mm-hmm. Is that gonna, um, are they going to clash later? Let's see. You're oh, on the right man. track, though. I'll say that. Oh, I'm not going to tell you how it plays out, but you're on the right track. Oh, man. This show is so fucking dope. Oh, man. Wait till you get to season three and four. It's so fucking crazy. Yeah, we're trying. I think we're almost done with season two. Uh, we're like almost at the end. Yeah, the end of season two is a heartbreaker, man. Really? <laughs> that shit is rough, yeah. I got that little fucking Last two. Eyes. Who, Ziggy? Yeah. Ziggy is fucked up, man. He... I feel uh, that guy is a real fuck up. I'll tell you that much. He's such a fuck up. Yeah. He's like a perpetual fuck up. Yeah, like your dad's like the most hardworking, respected dude, and he's like burning $100 bills at the bar. Yeah. It's like, what is wrong? Do you get to the part with the duck or no? With the what? The duck? No, no. Okay, I'll be alone. I I got to the part where you're like, whips out his dick, though. Oh, it's like. like, Yeah, they're like, put your dick away! (laughs) Put that thing away! Yeah. Well, any upcoming events for you otherwise? What's going on um, on the comic book front? Now that now basically on the now, to get printed, man. Okay, Roll Moon still yeah. in the works. Kind Roll of Moon's the ghost of Roll Moon. The ghost of Roll Moon still 
So I'm waiting on some other thing, you know, some hopeful projects to come through. But in the meantime, um, I'm going to start. I, I wrote out the next issue of mm-hmm. Rumble Moon. Uh, oh, you did? All yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Well, just, you know, like the little synopsis. Synopsis, yeah, shit. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yo, do you tell me, do you tell me else for that shit or no? Uh, no. Let's go but, straight to page. Yeah. With that, with my own stuff, I just go straight to page. But with other people's stuff. Like, thumb it out. Yeah, thumb okay. it out. Thumbnails are fucking hard, man. Yeah, they're, they, they take are. just as long as a page, and like they it's do. just like a bunch of stupid doodles. Like, yeah, because you're just like, uh, it's so o- it's such about an it. open <laughs> space. You yeah, know, like you're just like I don't know what to do. It's <laughs> like sketching. Like I hate sketching because I like, like sketching, but it's so open that you can never stop. Like there's no stopping point because you can keep going and going and going and going, and you don't just get to that final. I mean, maybe you do. I mean, because you, no, you do, do thumbnail, right? I do thumbs. Yeah, okay. I, I think I have to. So you find that like a lot easier to finally get to the page. When you get to the page, it makes it more automatic. Listen, you just be like okay. bam, bam, bam. And like if you know like you want to change something when you get to the page, it yeah. makes it a lot easier because you have a general idea of what you want to do. What you and, want like, to the say. The skeleton is in place. What you want to say. How yeah. much space to leave yourself. Interesting. So if you leave yourself like room for the that's the really the hardest part. I still start with leaving myself enough room for dialogue. Yeah. Um, because I I'm not a writer. I really don't think I'm much of a writer. I can write, but like I can't like. <laughs> That's I was like, like please someone write a fucking, somewhere. please someone like write something for me and I'll just yeah. call it. <laughs> That's why when you got, when I gave you guys home and I was just like, <sighs> I was yeah. like, you know, just look at the drawings. Look at the I think I, I, I think I could write if I was writing for someone else, but writing and drawing yeah. together is hard for me. It's, it's like, hard, man. Like, is, do, do you think about it last? Do you think about the drawing part first and then like the words last? I used to. Now I think about the story a little bit. I just think about the, how, I, how I want the story to go first. I, yeah. need to, I need to have at least a skeleton in the story first or it's not going to work for me. Like, I like freestyling sometimes, but then I'll like, so eventually I'll hit a brick wall or like, just, I feel like you start losing momentum after your initial burst of creative energy. Yeah. And you're like, well, I don't know what the fuck to do now. I'm just going <laughs> to make up some shit. Like, <laughs> So, uh, no, like, I, I do I do really like free, freestyling on mm-hmm. comics. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And I feel like it can be really good, but it's it's tricky. It's real tricky at yeah. a certain point. It really... If you lose that initial enthusiasm for it, it makes it really fucking hard to, like, stick with it. Yeah. Because I, I did that with um, with all the stories in Roman, and they're all yeah. freestyle, like... And the middle story... I mean, the plot can kind of... Is the one that, like, itself, but... I fucking rewrote so many times. Because, really? like... I would write it out as I go, and then I'd erase it as I inked. Really? <laughs> and, then I would, and then I would write something new, and then be like, I don't like that. And like, it kept like, you know? Changing and changing. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. I don't actually edit as much as I think I should on myself. Really? I think, you know, when I actually edit is when I get to the page, I'm like, well, mm-hmm. I don't like this still. I actually know what's funny is like the last thing I do is a dialogue on that. Like I have really? a general thing about what they want to say, but then I'll just fine tune the dialogue with what I actually want them to say. Yeah. Later. Do you write it like in the margin? Like off to like the side of the page, like you know, like possible dialogues or no, I just know, like, I just know it's all like you know, I wrote it down like yeah. how much dialogue I want to be in the page. Basically, I wrote down what I generally want them to talk about, and I'll leave some space where I think like they have time to divulge. Like, all right, this is gonna be the main talking page, mm-hmm. but then I'll like you know actually hash out what the d- exact dialogue is yeah. after everything else is done. Cool. That you... might not be the right way to go about it, but that seems to work for me. So. Yeah. I think you have to find what really like works for you because like you you try like to do like the could you imagine writing like a, a, a script like I could I could I think I really could write a script if I put my mind to it I can I don't think I could do it no I don't think it's I not could. that hard it's really like a comic book you just have to break it down in different stages yeah 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 if you can make a comic book you can write a script <clears throat> it's just different. it was just like a comic script like could you do that. Like, all written out and everything. Yeah, like, I think I could. I don't know really? how great it would be, but I think I could. Oh man, I don't. Oh, Give I don't a know shot, good dude. It's so like. I was thinking about. I had this idea where all the group, we wrote, everybody wrote a story, and then someone else in the group had to like draw it. Yeah. Kind of actually, my original idea for this whole fucking group. <laughs> yeah. Was someone writes a story. Or what was it? What was my original idea? Someone um, writes a story. I think we both wrote stories, and then we switched. We. We traded stories. Probably. Yeah, we traded stories basically. Yeah. So, and then the other person draws a story and just kind of, you know, yeah. rotate it around. Me and Dan finished ours. No. Yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, <man. laughs> that's, that wasn't my mind of control. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, was, I just wanted to see what you guys got. I never got to saw you. You finished yours. And I think James finished yeah. his too. Like, I, I never, never got to see one. it. I never got to see it. So, I have no idea if you finished it or not. Yeah, because both of you guys look great. Like, I was like, 
What the fuck yeah, happened yeah, to him? Yeah. Like, yeah, give me NBM publishers. Don't. Give me their phone number, dude. I want to send that shit to him. <laughs> I want to talk to him too. Like, a little fucking. <laughs> Persistence are, is key, man. Yeah. I don't, it's so hard to keep up with people. No, nah, dude, you got to keep on it, man. Yeah. You seem like a big shit deal to me. Yeah. That guy, like, uh, the, I, was, I was pretty bummed when he canceled the meeting this morning. Mm hmm. I probably shouldn't put this on the podcast. No, you probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, well. well anyway. That part. So, yeah, that's how, uh, <laughs> that is how I feel about comics. But, um, yeah. Yeah, man, fucking thumbnails are really difficult yeah. for me. Um, thumbnails are... Beautiful. First of all, it's hard enough to sit down and just start doing it. I feel like that's the hardest part of getting started. Yeah. But it's easy just to, like, get distracted. And, like, your thumbnails, when you're doing that, your thumbnails, maybe I need to work at a larger size for thumbnails, but... um. I've heard that's better because, like, Brendan Graham says he works on, like... He does his thumbnails on like eighteen by twenty four inch pieces of paper, but, but he <laughs> you know, does like a help. bunch, you a know. Bunch. Yeah, like he does like a shit ton, uh-huh. and then like I guess can figure it out there a lot better. He says like once he started doing that, like shit just like it's came from like yeah. Yeah, I might try that actually because I'm doing it in like a notebook size, like you know, um, what is it like fourteen by seventeen or something? Yeah, <laughs> and. Uh, well, the 14 by 17 and that works okay like uh, well okay my initial like thumbnails are about a 7 by 10 mm-hmm. and it's kind of small you know it's it's like average about the size of a comic book page yeah but still like I'm just doing like little doodles I'm not doing a full on thing because I'll be doing that shit forever yeah and it's ah oh, man it's hard like I really like I don't want to change my thumbnails unless it really sucks like I know I like when I'm doing it's like this looks like shit like yeah and most of the time, I'm just like, all right, this is what I want to happen. I'll use some reference later to fix this stuff, too. <laughs> like, I hate looking at people's thumbnails, and, like, I'm like, dude, they're so good. Like, I'm like... I feel like it's a waste of time. Yeah, like, I'm like, To be that good at thumbnails. Damn. Like, just do the page, then. Like, yeah, like, just jump to the fucking page, like... You should see anyway's thumbnails, dude. They're, like, nothing. Like, yeah, yeah. They're, I've like, seen literally some scribbles. Like, it's, literally it's awesome. Like, that's how like, I wish I could be. Like, it's, it's like, stick figures. Yeah. Like, half That's all you really need. Like, you don't need to fucking draw a gorgeous thumbnail. There's no point. Yeah. You just waste your time. You're literally wasting hours on thumbnails. Like, I... Like, who are you trying to impress? No one's going to see the fucking thumbnails unless yeah. it's for, like, a bonus material or something. Yeah, like... Uh, somebody was telling me to do... Excuse me. No, on thumbnails, right? Yeah. And then go back with like a black marker to like put contrast in that. Yeah. And I was like, dude, that's a good idea. That's a good idea but that's like that's like four okay. hours yeah. of work. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Just to get the initial yeah. thumbnail and then figure out where the blacks are going. I was like, dude, fuck all that. Like, yeah. <laughs> you you know? know? Um. Fuck. They uh, are pencils. Yeah, dude, I'm not fucking with that. I just shaded it with a pencil. I found a negative space. Fuck it. Like, I mean, it, it does help <laughs> kind of clarify things, I think. It's not a horrible idea. Yeah, no, it's a really good idea because Matt Cicelli does it. Yeah. If you look at some of like, the uh, his thumbnails and stuff. Yeah, no, I, I think it's all right. I just, like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a long time to, like, you know, but I guess maybe if it's, like, for professional work, you probably should. Yeah, no, you probably should. Yeah. I don't know. But, like, the current one I'm doing is a little bit harder because I don't have a, like, a, I tried to not give myself a page limit on this one. And oh, cool. Hopefully, like, before it was eight, now I'm just like, I'll just do it how it feels natural. Yeah. But now I'm worried that I'm, like, patting things out. And I just, I think, like, maybe having a page limit was better for me now because I could not, like, pat out bullshit and just get to the point. Like, hmm. have more typical conflict pacing because normally I just do, like, movie pacing if I, like, yeah. am left to an unlimited page count or, like, don't put any limits on myself for that. And uh, it's a slippery slope. I'm trying to think. Like, maybe you should put like, maybe not like. Well, a like, I was just gonna use an extra room like, of doing stuff to have dialogue or more dialogue. Yeah, you could put like a limit like on like what you wanted to get said, like you know. Yeah, have this go on for like two pages or something. You know what I mean? Like, nah, no, know, I think I might be overthinking it a little bit, but um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, I am glad I finally like got. Once you get started, it's easier. The hardest part yeah. is starting it, and like the first page. fucking yeah, that's the it's first difficult. page is like always the fuck. Ah, it's it's hard. <laughs> yeah, it's always the worst looking one, dude. Um, yes and no. <laughs> Mine was like, oh my god. Do you ever go back and retroactively add a page in huh? between? Pa- do you ever retroactively go back and add a page between pages? Or fuck yeah, I did that yeah. so much, man. <laughs> 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 it's all wrong, man. Yeah, you do it. 
So, oh, yeah, dude. Like, it's like, oh, let me go back. Yeah, because like you like you like look through it, you're like thumbing through like the the pacing of it, and you're like, you know what would be kind of cool right here? Yeah, a shot of some buildings. Yeah. <laughs> you just draw a, a page of buildings, and or like you realize that you want the next page to kind of be a surprise, you know, when you turn the mm-hmm. page type deal. Yeah, like I'm gonna add a splash page or something, yeah. like or make some bullshit page to like pad this out. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'm doing that less, but I definitely have done that more. It's probably something you shouldn't do that often. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's probably JLB, whatever works. Yeah. That's the beauty about this is there's no set ways of doing a comic book. Like, mm-hmm. there's no, like, this is how you have to write this. Yeah. This is how you have to draw this. Like, it can be, like, anything. Like, everybody's fucking method is so different, which is so fucking cool about it. Because it's, like, you can take from, like, the way that you do thumbnails. Like, mm-hmm. I can snatch some of that. Yeah. And, like, you could be, like, oh, well, I like the way that so-and-so does, like, his pencil format. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's so cool. Like, you you literally build your own thing. Like. Yeah. I might know? actually take that and work in a larger size thumbnails or just using that. Because I have a bunch. Eric White gave me a bunch of, like, man, man good pages. Man good. <laughs> for later. And, like. Those flimsy-ass. The flimsy-ass like, paper. So I might just use those God, for my things. That paper's so fucking. It's not. You shouldn't ink. Uh, oh. Well, yeah. you shouldn't use anything besides markers on that. Yeah. You're going to get fucked. Like, that paper is like, oh, the wind. That's the one I did the collab with James with. That, that's the paper I was working oh, on. Oh, really? I had so much free paper. Like, I got to use this shit. This is great. Like, I was so happy when I got it. Dude, a Zephyr would, like, blow that in half. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. No, I tried doing watercolors and actually inking it, and the page started wrinkling immediately. It's not meant for, like, oh, any dude. sort of water. <laughs> no. It would just like just fall apart. I'm surprised it didn't just like split in half. Yeah, that's some that's some dinky paper. It was good to have like a fuck ton of it though, because like it's smooth, like it's got like a nice felt to it and everything. Yeah, so it'd be good for like sketching and shit. <clears throat> Man, all right, well, yeah, I felt like this episode was two parts. <laughs> yeah, we did a good part. We should start doing more discussions like that. Okay. Yeah. So no, it's good. like uh, movies and a bunch of bullshit yeah. discussion, and they're like, all right, let's go. We're it's like, like I kind of forget, like, dude, we're both comic book artists. <laughs> we should probably talk about, we should probably talk about that. Yeah. Well, we'll right. just agree to do that some more. Yeah, let's do that. All right. All well, right. It was a good time. Yeah. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, let's do it. Peace. Peace, blog guys. Blah, 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 eight and stuff. Look at our websites. Yep. <laughs> Uh, add us on subscribe subscribe we need subscribers subscribe on fucking uh, YouTube YouTube and uh, hey, you Tumblr. need to pimp that shit too yeah I know I pimped it the other week where at I put it on uh, Facebook and Twitter I was like hey subscribe subscribe and I, hey, I just hit the up. playlist yeah. yeah yeah I need to look at that shit on YouTube cause yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to fucking subscribe button on it yeah I don't know how to do that. like YouTube YouTube, so the new YouTube shit is annoying yeah. real quick before we go the new YouTube shit is fucking annoying because now it's tied to everything Google, mm-hmm. like, so I knew, now, like, yeah, it account, asks you. go to your fucking Gmail account. Like, I don't want to. I want a separate yeah. account for my fucking YouTube page and, like, Google it's Mail. Like, hey, Scuzz, why don't we sync up at Gmail? It's, it's like, like, I want you, man. Fuck off. Like, dude, I just want to watch a video real quick. Now it's, like, such a hassle just to do anything related to Google because yeah. everything's interconnected. Yeah. Google, GWO, dude. It's cloud, dude. It's a G-W-O. fucking cloud. Yeah. New cloud world. strike. Fuck that shit. All right. Yeah.